If you ever wanted to sell an online class or Zoom workshop for your business, but maybe you haven't got a website yet, or maybe the website that you do have doesn't have e-commerce set up on it. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a tool that not only lets you sell online classes, but it also lets you add on upgrades at the checkout and connect everything with email marketing software as well. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I upload business related and tech tutorial videos every single week. So the tool I'm going to be showing you is actually Flowdesk, which if you didn't know, it's an email marketing software and it's what I recommend to all my clients. I've got loads more information on it in my Flowdesk guide, which I will leave a link to in the video description. They recently launched a new tool called Flowdesk Checkouts, which you can upgrade your account to access. And what this means is you don't need an e-commerce website in order to sell products or workshops or whatever it is you want to sell online. I've done a previous video about how to use this to sell a physical product. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to sell a Zoom class. So if you have Flowdesk already, you can just head into your plan and billing and click to upgrade to add checkouts to your account, or you can sign up to Flowdesk as a new customer here. And if you use my link in the video description, you can get 50% off your first year's plan as well. So once you've got your account, you will definitely want to go into your checkout setup and connect a Stripe account. Now it doesn't matter if you have one already, or if you don't have one, if you just click the connect button that will be here, it will take you through the steps to either log into an existing account account or create a new one. It doesn't take very long at all. And then once that is connected successfully, this will turn green and show that it's connected. So that is the first step. And what that does is allow you to actually take payment through Flowdesk checkouts. You will also want to edit your terms and conditions so that you can add in a refund policy. Um, and there's a privacy policy there that you can edit as well. Then what you want to do is head over to audience and go to the segments area so that we can create a segment for people who buy your workshop to be added to. So that when you do come to send emails in the future, or you want to send anyone who buys your workshop an email about the workshop, they will all be in a segment here so you know exactly who they are and you can send emails specifically to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new segment called Pinterest Workshop. Then we're gonna head over to the checkouts area and create a new checkout. And there are some templates that Flowdesk has pre-designed for you that you can just click on and customize to suit your needs based on what kind of thing you are selling. But you can actually just pick any of them because you can totally customize them for your needs. Just pick whichever one you like the look of. Click view details and then just go to customize. And you can completely change all of this. You can delete sections. It's basically a sales page website builder that lets you add loads of different sections based on the information that you want to show to people about your product or your workshop. You can add an FAQ section, you can add images and text, um, lists with information about your product. Just click on each section and you can either delete them, edit them and view all of the settings and editable options on the right hand side. You'll want to change things like background colors and font colors to fit with your branding and also change fonts as well. So if you click on anywhere where there is text, you'll see design settings here on the right hand side where you can choose a different font. You can choose font color and loads of other things to do with the design as well. But before we get into designing the sales page, we want to go through the setup so that we actually know what product it is we're going to be selling and the price and everything. So click setup up here in the top right corner. And this is where you can set the price for your workshop. I'm going to set it at 99 pounds. You can choose whether you want to make it on sale or even make it free. And that way people won't be asked to put in their payment details. They'll just be asked to put in their email address. You can upload an image about your product as well. I'm just gonna upload this graphic that I've created and give it a name and a description as well. The awesome thing that you can do in Flowdesk Checkout is actually add upsells to the checkout process so that when someone is about to put their payment details, you can actually show them another offer or another product that they might like to add to their cart. And this is a great way of increasing customer spend. So with a workshop, potentially you could offer an extra paid workbook or another workshop that you're offering or some kind of way to upsell them. And you can set all of the details for that specific upsell here as well. I'm just gonna leave this because I'm not gonna be offering that with this workshop. Then if we click onto the contact section, this is where you can choose what information you want to gather from people. So the first name, last name, you can also give them the option to sign up to your general newsletter list as well. And this is where you can select 
which segments you want to add these customers to. So the main one which we just set up is the product segment and this is where you want to send everyone who buys this workshop into. So that is the Pinterest workshop segment that we just created. You can also choose where you want to add people to who opt in to receive your regular newsletter. So maybe you have um, a segment just called general subscribers like I do, uh, which will just add people to your normal newsletter list. You can also add a segment for people who buy the upsell as well, but I'm going to leave that blank. You can also add a testimonial to the checkout page as well, just to give people that extra motivation to buy and any discount codes that you want to create, you can add here as well. So once those settings are done, you can then get into actually designing your sales page. Okay, so I have just really filled this out with the most basic information for demonstrations of this, but I could create a much longer sales page with loads more information to make it more appealing. Um, once you are happy with how the sales page is looking and you filled in all the details, you can then click on the checkout tab up here. And this is where you can customize where people actually pay for your workshop. So if you just click anywhere on the background, you'll see some options here on the right hand side of what you can include on your checkout page. Um, you can have your logo, you can have your email opt-in, discount codes options, um, a testimonial, and include your upsell as well. I don't want to include my upsell on the checkout page because I'm not going to be setting one up. So I'm just gonna toggle that off. I'm also not offering any discounts, so I'm toggling that off. And I don't want the testimonial to be there, so I'm gonna toggle that off as well. So I'm happy with how the checkout page is looking. This is where people can fill in their details and pay. And once they've done that, they'll then be added to my segments that we set up in the setup options. Now we head over to the delivery page and this is where they'll be able to see a receipt and also other information as well. But if you click anywhere on the background here, this is gonna give you some options on the right hand side as well. Maybe you want to show your logo here. Obviously you might want to give instructions of what people want to do next, which is this block here. Um, you can also provide a download. So maybe you want to give people a workbook to fill in during the workshop or before the workshop. So you could give them a free download here and toggle that on and off and information about their upsell. If they purchased an upsell, I haven't included one, so I'm gonna to toggle that off. And you also get space here as well to offer another bonus offer if you would like people to uh, take action on something once they've purchased. But I'm gonna to toggle that off as well. I'm also not offering any downloads, but if you were, just click on that and then click on download in the right hand side. And then this is where you can link to your download file. So that could be a video file, a PDF or anything. I'd recommend uploading that to Google Drive and then linking uh, with a shared link here to this button. But as I said, I'm not going to be including a download in this, but I do want to keep this instructions area because this is where people are going to find information about the Zoom workshop and how to access it. So how are people going to access your online class? First of all, you're going to want to set up a Zoom account if you haven't already got one. And one thing that I will note is you can potentially use the free version of Zoom if your workshop is going to have less than 100 attendees and it's going to be less than 40 minutes. Chances are your workshop might go over 40 minutes. So in that case, you're gonna to want to go for the Zoom uh, Pro option. However, you don't have to pay that much if you are just using it as a one-off. Um, you can just pay per month. So £11.99 is what you would pay per month to basically be able to offer a workshop on Zoom for still up to 100 people, but for any length of time. If you want to have over 100 people, you could pay the business plan, which is £15.99 a month. So just make sure that you're on the correct plan for what you actually need in your workshop. Then you're going to actually want to get the Zoom app installed on your computer, log in, and it should look something like this if you're on the home tab. And what you're gonna to want to do is click schedule. And this is where we can set up a pre-scheduled workshop. So just fill in the title, fill in the date and choose what time you're gonna be running this till. Um, I'm gonna be doing it till 
from four till six. Um, you can leave that selected as generated automatically. You can type in a passcode if you want to specify what that is, or it will generate one here for you. Um, I would advise keeping this uh, enabled so that when people are coming in to join your workshop, they're not just added in automatically. They kind of sit in a waiting room waiting for you to add them. So keep that selected. Um, you probably want your video to be on when the uh, workshop is running. You can also choose whether you want your attendees to have their um, screen or their video on as well. And then if you want to add it to a calendar, you can select to do that. I'm going to click save. And what that will do is open up your calendar that you've selected, asking if you want to add this event to your calendar, which yes, you probably do. But what you'll also notice is now if you go into Zoom and go to meetings, you'll be able to see your new scheduled meeting set up in here. And if we click on that, this is where we can get the link that you're going to want to give to people so that they can access your workshop on the day. So what you can do is click show meeting invitation. And what we want is literally just this text here, just this link, highlight that and copy that. And this is the link that you want to be giving people. So head back over to Flowdesk to your instructions area. And this is where you want to give people the link to your workshop. So if I was doing this, I would probably edit the button and put the link in the button by clicking on it and selecting link paste the link there so that when people click the button that will open up the zoom uh, class for them but i would also paste it into the description just in case they want to copy and paste this anywhere else to their own calendar you can also highlight this text and create a link from it and paste in the link there so that you're giving people a couple of options to save this link now I've just realized my sales page didn't have the date or the time on, so I'm gonna head back into the sales page and just edit this so that it's very clear what date and time this is on. So once you're happy with how everything is looking on your sales page, your checkout page and the delivery page, you can go ahead and click publish in the top corner and this will publish the page so that you can copy it and actually open this in a browser to view it as a proper web page. And you can go ahead and share this link and promote it so that people can sign up for your class. Now you could just stop there and just provide that Zoom link on that uh, delivery page, that thank you page where they view their receipt and leave it at that. Or what you can do if you also have Flowdesk's email marketing is set up an automated workflow that sends people who have just purchased your class an automatic email with the link in it as well, just so that they have a few different places where they can view that link. You can do that in the workflows area of Flowdesk by creating a new workflow. And this is where you can set up automated emails so that you can send that link to them in there as well. You could also send more information or like drip feed several automated emails in there as well. It's completely up to you. If you want to learn how to do that, plus everything else you need to know about Flowdesk and email marketing in general, I have a whole course dedicated to this. It's called Email Marketing with Flowdesk that shows you exactly how to do all of these steps too. I'll leave a link for this online course in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week.